thank you for choosing Autel Robotics. We invite you to explore the world with our fantastic X-Star Smart Drone Series. X-Star and X-Star Premium come integrated with its own gimbal and ultra-high definition 4K camera. The X-Star and X-Star Premium come in two different colors, classic white and energetic orange. In this video, we'll be setting up the X-Star Premium for flight. These are what you will need for your flight. The X-Star Premium Aircraft, two pairs of propellers, one with red caps and another with black your intelligent battery and your remote controller. You will also need your mobile device to use your Starlink app. First, make sure the aircraft battery and remote controller are both fully charged. To check the battery level, take the battery film off and short press the power button. It should be fully charged before every flight and it can provide up to 25 minutes of flight time. Squeeze the tabs on both sides of the battery and insert it into the aircraft's battery slot. Remove the gimbal holder. Next, make sure to read the warning cards carefully before you remove them. Then fasten the two sets of propellers onto the motors. Match the pair with red caps to the two painted motors and rotate them counterclockwise as indicated by the arrow imprinted on the propellers. Fasten the black cap propellers onto the remaining motors by screwing them on clockwise. The remote controller should always be powered on before the aircraft. Have the flight mode set to GPS mode. Press and hold the power button for two seconds to power on the remote controller. Download the Starlink app and clamp your mobile device to the remote controller. Let's now power on the aircraft. Press and hold the power button on the battery for three seconds. Once the aircraft is powered on, the gimbal will perform a self-test. The front stickers and the two LEDs that light up in red help you identify the nose of the aircraft. If you have the X-Star, Enable Wi-Fi on your mobile device and select your X-Star from the Wi-Fi list. For X-Star Premium, connect your mobile device to the controller with the USB cable. After connecting your mobile device to the aircraft, you can now launch the Starlink app. Go to Settings. Select Flight Control Settings and then tap on Compass Calibration. The four LEDs on the aircraft will then flash in yellow light. Follow the instructions displayed on your mobile app and rotate the aircraft horizontally for 360 degrees. The LEDs will flash in green light. Then with the aircraft's nose pointing downwards, rotate another 360 degrees. If the LEDs light up in yellow, repeat the calibration process again. When the calibration succeeds, the LEDs will light up in solid green light for 5 seconds. On the remote controller and below the mobile device holder, you will find a LCD flight information panel that displays real-time flight information. To start the motors, push the two command sticks toe in or toe out. or simply press and hold the motor starter. On the right of the motor starter, it's the auto takeoff and landing button. Press and hold this button for three seconds to command the aircraft to automatically take off and hover at an altitude of four meters. Pushing the left command stick forward ascends the aircraft and pulling backward descends the aircraft. Rotate the aircraft counterclockwise by pushing the command stick leftward and clockwise by pushing rightward. Move the aircraft forward by pushing the right command stick forward. And move the aircraft backward by pulling backward. 
Similarly, move the aircraft to the left by pushing the right command stick leftward and to the right by pushing rightward. Switch to IOC mode to lock the control direction of the aircraft relative to your position. The ATTI mode should only be used when GPS signal is weak. Turn the dial on the left to adjust the gimbal's pitch angle. Turn the dial on the right to adjust camera settings. Take photos with the shutter button and record videos with the record button. Playback videos or images anytime you want by pressing the playback button. To have the aircraft land automatically, press and hold the takeoff and landing button to land the aircraft at its current location. Or press and hold the go home button to command the aircraft to return and land at its home point. Pressing the pause button will pause the aircraft's autopilot function and keep the aircraft hovering at its current location. These are the basics for the X-Star and X-Star Premium. You should also read the user manual carefully before your first flight. Hi guys, I'm Natalie with Autel Robotics. In this video, I'll show you how to pair your XR Series remote controller and aircraft together. Every once in a while, your remote controller and aircraft can become unpaired. Sometimes this happens after you get your drone serviced or during a firmware update. Whatever the reason, you can tell if your remote controller and aircraft have become unpaired by looking at the controller's LCD screen and the aircraft's rear LED lights when they're both powered on. If the remote controller's LCD screen reads, connect your aircraft, and your aircraft's rear LEDs are displaying a fast, flashing yellow, you'll need to repair your controller and aircraft. Let's start by powering off the remote controller and turning on the X-Star. Don't forget to always remove the gimbal lock before powering on your drone. Once the aircraft is on, we'll need to press the pairing button on the side of the aircraft. When the camera and nose of the aircraft are facing you, the small recess button will be on your right, above the gimbal mount. If you look inside the aircraft through the vent located to the right of the button, you should see a green indicator light flashing in a quick pattern. Press and hold the pairing button for about three seconds, and you should see that indicator light switch to a slower, steady flash. Now, on the remote controller, press and hold both the power button and the go home button simultaneously until the remote controller powers up. The indicator light from inside the aircraft will now turn a solid green and the connect your aircraft message on your remote controller should disappear. You will also notice the aircraft's rear LED lights will change color or sequence from the fast flashing yellow. The new LED sequence might vary depending on your environment and you can learn more about the LED light sequences on page 5 of your user manual. Now that your XR Series remote controller and aircraft are paired, you're ready for flight. If you have any questions, give us a call at 1844 My Autel. Thanks for watching.